we're going to go over how to change gradient factors in the shear water. We're not going to focus on this first number today. This has to do with the depth of your deepest stop. If we go over here to the high gradient factor, I run mine on 65 for multiple days of deep diving, 75 for sort of recreational. This is getting aggressive at 85. This one is super aggressive. You're surfacing with 95% of your theoretical tissue compartments saturated. What are gradient factors? Let's take a look at decodoppler.com. In simple terms, the low gradient factor is how deep in the water column one takes the first decompression stop. The second number on the shear water, or the high gradient factor, defines how close to the 100% M value one surfaces with at the end of the dive. The M value means the maximum tissue saturation. So 100% is the point where the maximum tissue saturation or the M value is on the verge of critical bubbling. Which gradient factor should we choose? According to Dr. Neil Pollock, allowing the supersaturation to reach 85% of the M value or the maximum tissue saturation during surfacing provides a buffer from a theoretical limit, but it might not be enough if some factors are not measured by the dive computer, such as multiple deep dives over multiple days. Dr. Neil Pollock is suggesting that reaching only 70% of the M value or the high gradient factor provides a greater buffer for decompression safety. He's recommending this over the 85 gradient factor suggested elsewhere. Let's head underwater and see what happens when we're diving, planning to exit with our tissues 75% saturated and then 95% saturated. Now we're underwater and we have 75% high gradient factor. We get 29 minutes NDL. And when we have 95% allowable tissue saturation, we get 58 minutes non-decompression limit. So it's gonna be a lot more conservative to go with 75% high gradient factor. This is the Shearwater Paragrind to turn it on. We're gonna squeeze both buttons on the sides here. We're going to scroll through on the left side here. System setup. Deco setup. We're going to hit edit, conservatism, edit. And then this allows you to, to change it from 50, 65. This is very aggressive, 45, 95, medium aggressive. Although if you're doing multiple days of deep diving, that's pretty aggressive. So this one will be a high level of conservatism, even though this number is lower here because you're exiting the water with your tissues 75% saturated. This is the most conservative you can get exiting the water with 65% tissue saturation. This is low conservative. This means this is aggressive. So it's, it's a higher high gradient factor. You can also change this paragraph underwater by left scrolling through to dive setup, right click. Let's go through on the Shearwater Perdix, how to change the gradient factors. I'm going to scroll on the left here, system setup, I'm going to right click. I'm going to scroll through the modes here, it'll deco setup, I'm going to hit edit, edit again. I'm not going to worry about the deep stop right now. I'm going to click next and scroll through here. This is where I can change this more aggressive if I wanted to. 65 is good for multiple days of deep diving. 75 is more shallow recreational. If you're underwater and you wanted to change your gradient factor, you would scroll through to dive setup. And you can also change the conservancy here. So you would scroll through until you're at the, the high gradient factor there. And you can change this underwater.